Hello and welcome back to Games Night with me and Ben. Hey. Playing Star Wars Rebellion last turn. Princess Leia went on a mission to sabotage Mustafar with the help of General Rican. And uh, Boba Fett was there, but we still managed to sabotage the ship R2, factories. R2-D2 saved the day. R2-D2 stepped in at the last second. And um, squirted Boba Fett with a, with a fire extinguisher. Yeah, or, or so, zapped him, tasered him ah, in the ankle. tasered. <laughs> with a little light. Oh, he thing. tasered him, and then that triggered his jetpack. Oh, and Boba Fett just went flying off into the lava. Into, no, well, into space. He's still, he's he's still, still alive. He's still going. He's, he's active, but R2-D2 has been shut down temporarily. That was a sad moment. Hmm. On, on turn one, though, for the Empire, General Targi, Taj, General yeah. Taj began work on a new Death Star at Dagobah. Yeah, and uh, Tarkin decided to step in and take the credit. Yeah, Ta Tarkin also contributed. So that turn one new Death Star in the build queue, pretty scary. Also, there's this, I noticed there's a Star Destroyer mm. and a Oh, yeah, so in, in between recordings, queue. I just stacked up the turn one production queue. Ah, so this is, on this side of the board is what's being built. So what we're mm -hmm. getting, the Empire's getting some troops and a TIE fighter. Yeah. And then another troop. Well, how do these, they, they how put, do these so work then, then? You've got these symbols. So Corellia builds a Star Destroyer and a TIE Fighter. Uh -huh. And they go in at Q3. Uh -huh. Whereas right. Coruscant builds a Stormtrooper at Q1. Okay, so when it's done, does it go back into Q3 again? Uh, no, what happens is every turn, at the end of every turn, the production queue goes down a step. Yeah. So we're about to do that now. We'll put, push everything down one. Okay. But um, when there's a build order on the turn marker, that's when you put new stuff on. Ah, so okay. So that's only every other turn. So okay. every two turns you put new stuff on, but every turn you shunt everything down. So this is turn two. So we're about to start turn two. Yeah. And so what, we add more stuff to the build queue I know, well I just did it. Oh, I see. To save the faff on camera. So turn two started, we've added more stuff to the build queue. Mm -hmm. So what, these things are all going... So now everything shunts down one square. So these go to be deployed. Oh this my gosh. This goes ready for next turn and the Death Star goes down one. So, but it's not, it's, it's the start of turn two, isn't it? Or is it... So, yeah, the start of turn two, you load up the new stuff and then you push everything down one. Oh, oh immediately? Immediately, yeah. Wow, okay. So we get the same, though. No? Oh, uh, we got our Mon Calamari cruiser. Mon Calamari is in production. In the, production. Those uh, Mon Calamaris work fast. Sorry, I was doing it the wrong way. So, uh, oh, right, yeah. sh holy crap, we get some new rebel troopers Yeah, too. most of this is thanks to the Wookiees. Half of these guys are like Wookiee rebel troopers, because like, they give us two infantry a turn. Right, so, so that is four, that's four Wookiee, Wookiee men. Wookiee soldiers. And then one uh, Gungan soldier. A Gungan soldier? <laughs> yeah. Do we, so we can decide where we put them. We can put them anywhere, but you yeah. can only put a maximum of two units on each planet. Right. Oh, really? What, ground troop units? Any units. Any. Because basically one planet can't produce everything. Everything. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so remember, we have this mission. We have three objectives to complete. Yeah. One is to sabotage or blockade three Imperial worlds. Yeah. One is to have at least four planets containing a rebel unit, yeah, and one is to destroy a Star Destroyer. Okay, right. So this one, defend the people, have a unit in four planets. We could, we could probably get quite close to doing that right now. If we go, just put a man in every planet. Oh my god, so these are guys we're just, so we're sending some Wookiees to Mon Calamari. Yeah, to like show the Mon Calamari that we can protect them. Look, there's Wookiees in. Yeah. The Wookiees are in. See, this is a this is an alliance. We've got Wookiees, we've got Peoples, we've and got Mon Calamari. we leave Calamaris. the Gungans where they are. Yeah, because no one wants to hang out with gonna them. That's going to be negative diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. And then the Ryloths, they produce a man, I guess, as well. Yeah, I don't know anything about Ryloth. I've never heard of it, but no. I'm sure it's a big important planet. It's probably an alien from there. There's probably we a just, whole book about it. That we no, we're like, oh, it's those guys. Right, right it's these slug men from the cantina or something. So what's producing our A wings? Um, is that is that where uh, are they Naboo from? makes a fighter? We, okay. And um, the rebel base makes a trooper and a fighter. Ah, so that that was two two sorry, two Y wings. Uh, well, two of, we can pick. Oh, okay. So you pick I just picked one of each. Wing. Okay. Um, is there any reason for that? It's just good to have a mix. Yeah. Do we want to deploy mm -hmm. them on a like a, um, a planet that we want to protect? I mean, they're going to get crushed by any of these fleets, right? Yeah, we should probably find a way to hook them up with our existing fleet. So we can. We've only deployed one guy to Mon Calamari, so we can deploy an X-wing up there, can't we? Yeah, I guess. we could have one. One X-wing. We could have like we could put the Y-wing in the rebel base. Yeah, sure. Along with the um, the transport, and then um, and just start building up a, like a new fleet. Yeah, that's actually not a terrible idea. Where are we going to deploy them on Calamari when that comes out in a couple of turns? I guess just we wherever. We could stick it in the rubble base. Is. Yeah. Or wherever. I guess we'll see. It's a couple of turns away. And I like the idea of getting a little fleet together. I think we're going to need it. Yeah, well, if we're going to knock out a Star Destroyer... We have to keep them the, the, the Empire off until we can, you know, get 
Get the Death Star destroyed. Yeah, well, we need bay. to keep keep digging for the plans. That was a good. I remember that big fleet battle in Star Wars. That was good. Oh, Return of the Jedi. It yeah, was really cool. That wasn't was a it? good fleet battle. That was one of my in first introductions to cool, cool space, space battles. Space CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah there was. Well, this, it looked so much better than anything else at the time, didn't it? Do you it remember, did. Like, I mean, even like the Star Trek, you know, episodes that came out in the nineties had really terrible space battles. It felt like uh, maybe. Anyway, I just um, I think it was the lasers that did it for me. Just big red lasers firing everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Go on. So so I'm gonna. I don't know. We've already put two in there. We just got this spare man. Should we stick him on the on the Wookiee world? Yeah. Give him. Um, Since that's where they come from. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Sure. That's, we have no choice anyway, have we? Really. It's got to go somewhere. So they're gonna okay. fight. Oh, so so if if, if the, for example the Death Star moves to Kashik, which mm-hmm. God help them. Uh, they're really in the firing line, aren't they? Old, <laughs> yeah. The old Wookiee planet. <laughs> yeah, the, the Empire might just suddenly realise that they're very, they're very bold and brave. The Wookiees. For, to, I mean, if you were on the, if you're on the fringes of space, like the Mon Calamari, you know, you're a good distance away. Whereas these guys are right in front and centre for the. Do they know that the Death Star's coming? Oh God. Um, well, I did notice that there is a Death Star planet explosion marker. <laughs> yeah, <just laughs> which so gives can... me, which gives me a bit of a trepidation. You know, a bit worrying, isn't it? Well, let's hope that, that uh, we don't ever see those. But then again, the second Death Star coming online is a bit of a worry. Yeah, we really need to dig for those plans. So we've now done this, have we? Have we got... uh, no, well, we, the problem, unfortunately, that you do this at the start of the refresh phase. Which is, which is, the which is before you deploy the troops. Ah, so, so we're going to have so... to hold these planets for a turn. Okay, well, that we... might be a bit tricky. But I think we've made a good progress towards possibly doing it. Yeah. Um, if we can run interference, we can possibly grab this, snag this this, this victory point. Mm-hmm. Now, you can only get one objective per phase. Okay. So both of these cut supply lines and defend the people, they both happen at the same time, which means we can't do them both at once. If okay. We one. All right. So if we can get this one this turn, and then aim for the cut supply lines next okay, turn. Okay, so we can gradually build up sabotaging, and hopefully we can keep sabotaging every turn. Mm-hmm. And we can aim to try and sabotage enough worlds. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, so the and last then we thing want to we get do... a fleet together and try and destroy a Super Star Destroyer. Yes. So next thing, what's the next thing? Next thing is um, both sides recruit a new hero. Oh, cool. So, wow, so you can so look at seven get, over um, the course of the game. Uh, one, two, three, there's four recruitment times. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so, you start, so we'll, we'll end up with seven. The AI gets an extra hero at the start of the game, so they'll end up with eight. Uh, so we got Admiral Akbar. <laughs> Of course we did. <laughs> well, of course we did. <laughs> oh, because we talked the... Oh, that's perfect, doesn't it? It is perfect timing. We just recruit Mon Calamari. They put a cruiser in production and Akbar's here straight away. So he's got two fleet sort two, of... Two diplomacy two di- markers. Oh, is that diplomacy? Mm. Oh, oh, right, okay. Diplomacy. And one logistics. Okay. But um, the other number we haven't really looked at here is they've got two numbers at the... So these skills are for them doing missions, and these skills in the corners are for doing fighting. Right. So, so he he's, has... he's a level three spaceman and a level one ground man. Okay. And three's the highest it goes. Right. So he's a really excellent admiral. So he's a good fleet leader. Mm-hmm. Which we didn't have before. Right, so um, he can... No, we didn't. Well, Jan de Donna can do a bit of fleet leading, but he's old. Yeah, so he's, he's only two. got two. He's better off doing infiltration anyway and sneaking around in a robe and doing doing all that stuff. Yeah, well, keep him on infiltration. And his once-per-game ability oh. is during a combat, he can say, It's a trap! Uh, during the first round of combat, your opponent cannot play space tactics cards. We don't that, know what they are. Well, yet. that number that he's got three in, he negates the other person's number, effectively. Right. They go in as a zero. What, a zero what? Um, space combat. Okay. So he's got a, a three in space combat, which means he draws three space Ah, uh, I see. Okay. And the opponent can't use any of their cards, so it doesn't matter what number they are, they may as well be a zero. So for one for one battle, we can win an under, underwhelming... Yeah, he just go, tactically geniuses them up once per game. He knows it's a trap. And yeah, therefore, oh, it's his trap. This time oh, I see. He that's, sets the trap. Oh my god, that's what he was shouting all along. <laughs> it's our trap. It's our trap. We got him. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> and he's so overjoyed. The Empire recruit um, Admiral Piet. Admiral Piet. Piet. This guy. He's. Um, I remember Admiral Piet. Assemble the fleet. He's the guy who, um, after Darth Vader choked Admiral Ozzel to death. Right. Um, he then says, "Right, Captain Piet, you're you're the admiral now." That's right, um, and he's okay, yeah. old Piet. He's not terribly yeah. incapable like some of the imperial. Doesn't get himself killed. Is he English? Oh shit! He's the guy who says it, it's an older code, sir, but it checks out. Uh, <laughs> he's the meme lord, Admiral Meme. Admiral Meme. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm happy or sad to be fighting against him now, though. 
So, um, yeah, I said to Ben when we started this, I said, um, you know, do, do you think we're going to win against mm. the AI? And he said, well, I've never seen a Death Star start construction on turn one before. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a little bit apprehensive about whether or not we're going to win this. But through superior brain and human brain tactics, we should be okay. Yeah. So well, we're um, not going to go easy. Well, we can't. Go we can't easy. go we easy. We have to follow. We the follow instructions. follow instructions. Now, I, I've no, I've never played with this before, so I've no idea if this is actually like just a brain dead AI who can't play the game, or it's Super Genius Five Thousand. I have no idea. It does get certain benefits, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, yeah, it starts off with more stuff than the than the human player would. Mm. So um, we'll, we'll see. Let's see what happens. We'll see. Well, I mean, obviously there are there is the human element, like you know. I was thinking, like, if, if, I was, if I was playing against you on a human game mm. and I got my, my guy in Hoth, I'd constantly be looking there. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. And you'd be able to, like, mentalist me. You'd the be whole like, poker game You'd would be, be like, ruined. he's definitely on Hoth. All know, his missions mean? are happening over there. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he messing around? Okay, we're going to go, we're going to read the death star. No! And we're going to watch his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, yeah, so if I was playing the Empire, if I just went, hmm, shall I move over there? <laughs> Well, <laughs> Lewis just goes, ah! Exactly. The thing is, that's probably what would happen when, if I was just in this game. Or I'd accidentally start deploying my guys onto... Do <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Instead. Um, Seems like I'm not very, not very good at that. But yeah, it's a long game, this. So, you know, you can... Mm -hmm. you think well, maybe human... we'll play on tabletop sim next time. Oh, okay. The old um, online yeah. poker. That's not a bad idea. For a, for a few games. No, like, you've got, you got to play it with people if you can. It's great. Yeah, it's so much games. more fun some playing really in real cool life. Board games. This is, I mean, if we, if, every, if we could make every video game into a board game and play it, you know, if we were playing Minecraft, just a little Lego game, box. Yeah, it would be, we'd just, every game would be this. <laughs> this would be my, my go to. All right, anyway, let's get on with it. Oh my right. God. So we'll start of turn two. Uh, have we done all the end of turn things? Have we done I everything? I think we have. So um, we draw two more mission cards. Okay. Going to our hand. So. We got two missions. These are these are these have all had one on them, but are these these have got missions that are three and yeah, two. Yeah, so this one needs three eyeballs to three spyings. So does that mean you can send multiple people? You can on stack it? people, yeah. Okay. Because we don't have anyone with three spying. No. And, and that is for the greater good. So we want to try and rescue a leader. So that lets us rescue a leader, which we don't need to do yet, because no one's been captured. I didn't even know that they could be captured. Yeah, it's one of the Empire's big things. They can capture their leader, and once, it, once the Empire's captured someone, they can like interrogate them or like attach homing beacons to them. They have all these different missions to do to captured leaders. Why does this have a picture of Obi-Wan in the board? So this symbol means if Obi-Wan's on the mission, you automatically add to, uh, as if you rolled that critical hit oh, to your I dice. See. You get like plus two. So Obi-Wan is particularly good at rescuing people yeah. in this. Okay, and so that's the same thing for the base defense. Yeah, General Recon's really good at building base defenses. Did we, did we have this one last time? Yeah, yeah, we, so. we had we that one, we just didn't it, do did it. We? No. And we've got this one, Incite Rebellion. So that means two um, diplomacy, mm -hmm. attempt any subjugated system. Mm -hmm. If successful, gain three rebel troopers. Ah, cool. And then resolve a combat, so you get the, the locals to rise up. Oh, nice. Okay, so we could do that on Rhodia, for example, where there's only mm -hmm. two... Imperial troops, because that looks like it's lightly held and yeah, subjugated. Yeah, like we could. Sub, Sullust is also subjugated, but I don't fancy taking on an attack. No, three three guys versus three guys and an attack seems the wrong decision. But that's the only other subjugated world, isn't it? At the moment, yeah. But they might subjugate a new one when we're doing missions. When we're doing oh, missions. Oh, I see, because it takes turns, so we, we, we get to decide what we actually want to do. Mm. Okay, but that's a really good mission. We should definitely do that one. That so. might help us actually get the. Um, Rebel system defend the people done anyway. Oh, so yeah. because we can only pass one of these per turn, we really want to aim to try and pass one. Yes, uh, the combat ones um, you can do as well as the refresh. Okay, so, so we, we can, can do, do these. we can do the combat one while we're thinking while we put our fleet together. Okay, um, yeah. or we could hold on to the Incite Rebellion until a juicier target comes up. We don't have to play it straight away just because we drew it. I think Rhodey is a good target, though, don't you? It's pretty weakly defended. Yeah, and lightly defended. So, yeah, I think that's, in my mind, that's probably something we should should consider doing. Mm -hmm. Especially if we can add someone... Because um, now we've got Akbar, he's got the two diplomacy. We could send him, he fits the bill nicely for mm -hmm. that. One well, Mothma can continue converting big, important worlds. Yeah. Maybe we should get, like, um, well, Utapau, or is... is is near, but also Magito is like... Oh, Magito's pretty good. That builds base defences. What's that build? An iron cannon? Or a shield generator. So we can what, put that on another planet, or does it have yeah. to go on there? It can go on our base, or any planet we want. Do we want to work on a fleet instead? Is there anyone who builds uh, better fleets? Kato Nomoya builds... No, that's not it. They build uh, Toydaria builds um, corvettes. Okay. Are they um, okay? 
Ord Mandel builds Corvettes. Oh, mm. at Corvettes and um, Land Speeders. Oh, we could do with some of them. Yeah. What's who's Ord Mantel? Um, Does they only mentioned about once. Them? Han Solo says he complains about Han being attacked by bounty hunters on Ord Mantel. Oh, that's all I know about it. <laughs> well, Mon Mothma. Maybe we'll send Mon Mothma there to go and do the diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Build, build the alliance. alliance. Sure. I feel like this is a good thing for her to be doing because she's so good at it. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically what she did in Star Wars. She just got the Rebel Alliance built. She convinced everyone to join. Do we want to send them the other way around? Do we want to send her to no? No, let's stick to the canon. No, no, because um, in the rebellion, yeah. we'll then have a fight, and Akbar's better in a fight than Mon Mothma. Oh, Mon Mothma can't even. She's got no fight. She's got no leadership in combat at oh, all. I see, but at least Akbar on the can do a bit of ground ground leadership. Mm. Okay. And then what else do you think we probably want to do? You've got any other ideas? I would think maybe we should teleport our fleet back to base. Okay, now we've got the Mon Calamari Because the Mon Calamari is on board. We want to destroy a Star Destroyer, mm-hmm. but we're nowhere near a Star Destroyer where we are. Right. We're near this one, but that's by the Death Star. That's kind of suicidal. Right. Is that, does that count as a very strong... It's a very strong space unit. Right, okay. Whereas these two are much easier to pick off. Yeah, there's a the small one on Tatooine. Um, and there's a small, there's a, well, I'll say small, there's, not, there's such a thing as a small star. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, all right, fine, let's teleport back to base. But when we teleport back to base, mm-hmm. can we deploy to anywhere or do we deploy out into, how does it work to deploy uh, so out? The way fleet? it works is you teleport back to base, you go to this space here. Yeah. And then you've got a choice of two things. You can move out of the base and fly over here, but that reveals the base. Ah, or you can use all you your can, cards. We've got, we've got a special, we've got a once per game teleport the fleet out of the base card. Ah, hidden fleet. Hidden fleet. So how do we know which ones are once per game? Uh, the ones with the little green, uh, yellow arrow at the bottom. They you, come back they to They come your... back to your hand. Ah, So ah. the rapid mobilization is the return to base card, which we can do every turn. Okay. Um, good. Okay, so, so, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to resolve this to return to our base, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got to five units from one system to the rebel base. So we've got six there, which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. It's still, it's still fine. We can leave, like, an X-Wing there. We don't need every single last unit. Hmm. We didn't, um, we didn't think this No, through. I mean, we could... Well, let's... We haven't actually done anything yet. This was the new thing we deployed. Yeah. We could just put it in the rebel base instead. All right, okay. We haven't actually started our turn. Yeah. We're still planning. Yeah. All right. There's no, no moves have been executed. We'll be allowed... Mm. It's not really a taxi back, is it? A little taxi happened. back. It's not really a taxi back, Steve. We're just sort of planning. So yeah. we're going to use... So we need someone to do the rapid mobilization. Yeah, they need the logistics. So that's General Recon, I guess, can do mm-hmm. that. And then we want to send... Um, do we want to keep trying to sabotage? Probably. Where shall we try and sabotage? Leia's not very strong at sabotaging on her own. On her own, no, it's risky business. Um, she could do an infiltration instead. She's better at that. Yeah, that's probably. We could send them both to infiltrate because then they. They will. They've got a lot of spy balls between them, haven't they? Yeah. Or we could. Yeah, because Dan's a donut. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. All right. Well, how about we? Oh, we could instead. Mm, no, we can't. Just trying to think if we can move these guys around as dead and get get Recon. We could have... No, we can't. It, it depends, doesn't it? It depends. What we, we can move people around because each people has different, slightly different skill sets. Yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's just, just do an infiltration then with these guys, shall we? Well, we could just try the sabotage. We might get lucky. Um, I mean, the infiltration will probably go off with his two infiltration anyway, right? If we do it last. Oh, I see. Well, if, you mean just... Infiltrate with Jandad on it and then sabotage with Leia. Yeah. And then hopefully just overwhelm them with, with so many missions. Yeah, rather than just guaranteed to get one done, have a small chance of getting two done. Okay. A small chance of failing them both, but is that a problem? Maybe not. I think, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Because um, the more missions we do, the more he has to try and stop us. And the more he's trying to stop us, the less he's moving fleets around. Right, where shall we sabotage? Um, um, the shipyards on Corellia, maybe? Or... Solist. Yeah, Corellia and Solus are both big production worlds. I mean, I think maybe Corellia, because Corellia's making their Star Destroyers. Okay, Corellia, you're going to get sabotaged and infiltrated by these guys. Okay, this is this is my plan. Okay. All right, so we got, so, we got our plan figured out vaguely. <laughs> right. So then we have to resolve them Then the, the Empire get their missions. So did the Empire go first this time? Because we went first last time. No, no, the Rebels always go first. Okay. So it means the Rebels get that first hit. 
Ah. Um, which is a big advantage. The, um, okay, so we need to decide which one we really want to go off first. Yeah. Because they can't, can they, oh, I guess they, they can still can respond, respond to, to, to block it. it, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Um, right, that's the Empire's missions for today. Okay. Um, so what do we want to start with first? Let's start with that alliance with Mothma and see if they want to contest. The Emperor wants to try and contest it. Mm-hmm. Um, at okay. Ord Mantel, I think, is where we're going to go. So on a four plus, he does. He does try to stop us. Right, he's just following us about. You've got a like sensible a creepy dice this time. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. It does. It was kind of weird before. <laughs> you just have to trust me yeah. before. Um, right, which means it's a, it's a dice off. Three right. on three. And this time we don't have the fleet support. No, that's true. Maybe we should do that more, move our uh, so fleet around. So three I rolled, and he rolled a four. He rolled a four. He's learned his lesson from the, um, the ambassador's reception at Mon Calamari. Okay, so that is a failed mission. It was. Well, Lord Mantell, we didn't really know anything about them. Apparently the Emperor did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she stays there. We went there and did some terrible diplomatic... A little bit of a faux pas. Turned out, um, you can't call them Lord Mantellians. That's, um, that's a hate crime. No, so we, didn't, we, do, we got that wrong. Okay, next. So what they, um, so they're going to so they do a mission? Now. They're going okay. to... Tarkin's going to say, fear will keep them in line. Yeah. Attempts in any system that commits a Star Destroyer or a Death Star. If successful, gain one loyalty in two systems in this region. Okay. Um, so Tarkin is going to go to Sullust. Does he have... No, it has to be oh, a Star Destroyer or a Death Star. Okay. Yeah. So... Um, How do you decide where he's going to go? He goes to the highest like production value that, that he can gain. Okay. Um, so the reason he's going here... Is because it's the whole because the Death Star and the Star Destroyer is here. I see. Um, this whole region um, is affected. We'll gain. So I gain one loyalty in two systems in this whole in this region. So what will happen is Solust would go from suppressed to loyal. Okay. And Utapu will go to loyal as well. From from nothing. From nothing. Yeah. Oh um, can, we can't stop him because we didn't leave any of our leaders back to block oh, the attempt. Oh, I see. We went full attack. That's okay. So yeah, Tarkin was, was a bit of a badass there. Like that's he started building the Death Star and then he's going around telling them, "Fucking get in line, boys!" Or you see, this Death Star is going to create loads of new jobs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of Utapau, <laughs> we're going to need you to start building. So they've they've just added a two more shipyards to there, mm-hmm. just in one fell swoop. Oh yeah, my God. that was a powerful card. That was scary. One fell swoop. One foul swoop. One foul swoop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so now Tarkin. it's Pisalgo again. Yeah. So let's um, try and get that rebellion going on Rodia then, shall we? Before they can on? reinforce it. Yeah. All right, we're going to incite a rebellion on, nice. on Rodia. Okay, are they going to try and stop us? Let's find Let's out. Focus. Yes, they are. So they're going to send the best man for the job, which is Darth Vader. He knows how to suppress a rebellion. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> oh, God, if Akbar was running around trying to rile me up and then Darth Vader turned up and said, I will destroy anyone who joins this rebellion. I, I probably wouldn't rebel, you know. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's roll two dice. You ready? Akbar. Oh, got two. Rolls That's pretty two. good. Vader rolls a three. three. Oh my Shit. gosh. Okay. We need to start sending more than one leader on these missions. Do you I think, think so? Because they're initially. I took too many risks, Ben. I thought. We spread ourselves too thin. I thought our guys could outroll them, but we, I feel like we had a 50 50 chance on both of those and we lost both. Yeah, it's unlucky. But at least it means our sabotage and. Um, um, infiltration will probably get through. They won't get contested, that's true. Well, they might not. Uh, so, they're, so they're going to send a mission off now, the Empire. maybe. They're going to try and capture a rebel operative. Oh, no. So they can only attempt this where there's a rebel leader next to an Imperial unit. Uh, so they can't capture Monmouth when there's no Imperial units here, but they can capture Admiral Akbar. Oh, God. So Boba Fett's off. Oh, my God. He's got three fists. And Vader's got three fists. And we can't contest it. And we, we didn't leave anyone back to contest. Um, Admiral Akbar's going to get captured. Yeah, I think so. The Imperials roll. Well, these are five dice. Oh, there's a success. They get a sixth dice, which is a back. Well, they didn't roll very well, but their one success <laughs> is more than enough to beat up un- oh, unprotected God. Admiral Akbar. He was doing so well to hide oh as well. Oh, God. So he's now been captured by the... Oh, oh shit. shit. What a little story. Admiral Akbar... Flush from being chatted up by Mon Mothma, decides rebellion's the best thing ever, goes off to tell the Rodians that they can join too, 
Vader, Vader, Vader and just, Boba Fett turn <laughs> up. And just not only squash the rebellion, but put Akbar in chains. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> for breaking anti-terrorism legislation. So he's now in, in chains? He's been captured. Oh, he's God. now treated as like a ground unit that can be moved about. Well, um, they can move him around and keep him in prison. Yeah, there's a whole load of missions where they can like interrogate him and stuff. Oh, jeez. We now can't send him on missions until we rescue him. Okay. There's two ways of rescuing him. One is launching a mission from our hand, and the other is to kill, destroy all units defending him, and then he gets freed. Okay. All so units if, defending so him. So if we can kill these two stormtroopers, okay. then he goes free. All right. So there's only a small garrison on Rodeo, on Rodeo. So if we moved our army in... We could rescue him. Oh, dear. Well, oh, that man. That was a disaster. Brutal. So that was their mission. So now we've got um, a mission. So let's do the... I guess we should probably do rapid mobilization, right, and get the old fleet out. Get the out. fleet back. Um, resolve in rebel base space. So when a mission says resolve yeah. rather than attempt, it means it can't be blocked. Okay. So we just could send the old fleet send back. Send the fleet back. Get it ready for a strike next Now, turn. to what extent are we... Should I have done these? Should I have done these in a different order, do you think? Um... Because they might, have, they might have sent off the Emperor on a different mission if I'd... Yeah, that's hard to say, isn't it? I guess the missions you do last are less likely to be blocked. Yeah. So we needed to sort of prioritise so which were the most the, important yeah, ones. Yeah, but what I've ended up doing is sort of sitting off the shit ones. But then if we'd sent these guys in to do their missions, one of these guys would have got captured instead of Admiral That's Agbar. true. All right, well, we're okay then. We're all right. So it's the Empire's, Empire's turn. Empire's turn, yeah. So uh, they they're going to try and capture someone again. Collect they, bounty. They can't do that because... It's a three fist. It's a three mission. fist, and they've no three fist men left. Right. So, so when they, that happens, you you draw a new mission. Okay. And there's, there's, a, there's no one who can attempt that. Mission, two no? fist. So that was um, trying to conquer a planet. <laughs> yeah. Address delay. Address delay. That sounds many, like something General Target can do. Yeah. Place units on the build queue using this system's resource icons and number. So he wants to go to an imperial system and build more units, right? Yeah. And Utapu is the highest value unit producing system. Okay. So that's where he goes. So he goes there and he builds he straight builds, away a Corellian yeah. Corvette and a... And a, a, a Star Destroyer. Oh, no, the, the Imperial units are different. Oh. So he builds a Star Destroyer and an Assault Carrier. Oh, my God. On build Q3. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. That's quite, produ that's quite some production. Oh, yeah, General Tag. Doing the business. All right. And then um, we were going to send the De send Janda Donna first of all. Um, now keep in mind, wherever we, he won't try to block us now because okay. he only has one leader left, and he wants to move a fleet. Okay, right. So um, we can do whatever we want now, basically. Pretty much. So shall we go and sabotage Corellia? Yeah, that sounds good. There's been a lot of distraction. Then we, yeah. we sent the whole. We, we sent Ag Akbar as like a... Oh, he was the faint, was he? He was the faint. But really, we wanted to sabotage the Korean shipyard. But then again, nice. like, I don't know how... Look, we're just going to have to keep sabotaging these shipyards. So that's one. She's got one fist. I think we just attempt it. Oh, we just... We auto pass. There's no one and, to stop uh, us. she sabotages the Korean shipyards. Lamb. That is, that is a... F finally, we got an achievement off. Um, and then Piet... It's going to move. So, oh, did the uh, did the did they did they probe on their turn? By the they way, they did. Yeah, okay. they sent probe to Endor. Oh right. Of so course they, they know did. that Endor's safe. Okay. They know Tatooine's safe. They've got all these probe cards, but these are not these are not remote worlds. So right. They're not important. So do they, now, Uta Powers loyal. Do they does that count as being probed as well? Um, no, they only draw. We only pick out of the probe deck when they explore a, um, a remote world. Uh, okay. Because in this version of the game, the rebel base has to be on a remote world to make okay. it easier on the AI. Right. Um, so what, they, what we do now is we calculate where the nearest remote world is that they want to check, and it's going to be Yavin or Dathomir, both one move away from the Death Star. So we randomise. One, two, three, da Yavin, four, five, six, Dathomir. So they go to Yavin. Okay. Good thing dun, we didn't build dun, our base dun, on dun, Yavin. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, well, this would be a pretty short game, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking oh, hell. So they know that they now found out Yavin is not the rebel base, so they pull it out of the deck. So they don't pull out mm -hmm. Utapau, even though they've got, even though they own it. Yeah, because they know that that never could have been the rebel base. Right. So okay. So, so the, all the other planets that aren't remote in this deck are basically padding. Okay. Otherwise, there would only be like six cards in this deck. Oh, I see. And they just discover them where the rebel base is immediately. Yeah. I see. Okay. So if they if they send a fleet there though, like if the, if once once the Death Star's built in Dagobah, does that mm. explore the Dagobah system? Yes. 
And so if they just moved their fleet to here, that would explore that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good to know. Um, so they, do, they got one more mission. Oh, so that, that, was, that was Admiral Pierre checking Admiral Piet's out Yavin. Fleet. So let's do our infiltration mission. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter where it is, but it will be more successful to pass if we put in with layers. With layers. So it gets the benefit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's an important thing, isn't it? Stacking leaders. Stacking leaders. It's a big yeah, one. Yeah, it is, really. Should, should have thought of that. Yeah. Um, oh well. So that instantly triggers. So that means we get to look at the top two objectives. We put one to the top, one to the bottom. So could we have done Akbar to try and do the rebellion, mm -hmm. and then Mon Mothma there to try yeah, and do the alliance? Yeah, because what would have happened then is the emperor would have tried to block Akbar. Right. Because that was a diplomatic mission. Okay. Um, and then Vader would have tried to block Mon Mothma. Right. Which would have been less successful, Vader's less diplomatic. Would I mean can you but that's already suppressed, right? So would that flip to rebel or would that flip to Oh, I see loyalty? what you mean. Yeah, um So if you try and form an alliance with someone who's suppressed. Yeah, then you you slot the rebel loyalty underneath the suppression marker. So okay. it wants to be as soon as the units are gone, it would go rebellion. Okay. I see. That's good to know. Just check it. Yeah, no, that's all right. So these two objectives we can pick one to Keep and one to throw away. So this is our infiltration mission. Yes, this is our infiltration. We can put one at the bottom of the deck. So we've so got there leave are... no one behind, which is score a victory point if there are no captured rebel leaders. Shit. That's not ideal, is it? And then crippling blow. Gain an objective if you destroy at least three health worth of Imperial ground units in a combat you initiated. Right. So win a, win a decent ground victory. I think we want to hold on to that. I don't think we're going to rescue Ekbar anytime soon unless we get a character who can actually fucking do it because... Well, our, I mean, mission, our rescue mission needs eyeballs, doesn't it? Our rescue mission needs three eyeballs. So we could or send Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. So we could. Um, it's I a suppose big, we could send Leia there on a sabotage and then send him in on the infiltration behind on the on the rescue mission. Oh uh, well, you have to you have to assign three to that mission at least. Oh right. Okay. So we can't even do it, it at all. Oh, we have to do it with both. Yeah. How likely are we going to get? him back and how likely are they going to capture some other guys yeah it's a tricky one isn't it I mean what we could do is next turn move the fleet to here uh, or like nearby ground combat rescue him and then the following turn attack that st lone star destroyer like this is quite a good area to, to hoover up victory points okay if you see what I mean That's, this is a good strategy alright I like it okay let's do that instead then so let's Take the take the rescue. I mean, it commits us to rescuing. No, let's take the ground combat. Take the ground I think combat. like the, it's the same victory points, and I feel like we're going to have to tick one of these to start the refresh phase. I don't want to have too many. Yeah, we don't want these building start up. Start of refresh phase that we haven't done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll leave. We'll, we'll ditch the rescuing. So the rescue is not like a critical mission. We're not going to do. We're not going to rescue if we can't. If we can't, Akbar, we need you for our fleet, but. You're going to have to wait a while. <laughs> yeah, you're not a priority, I'm afraid. Oh, poor Shit. Akbar. It was a trap after all. Hello. If you enjoyed our games on Games Night, you can actually pick them up on the Yorkcast store. There's all the games we played, Camel Up, Bang, a bunch of D&D &D stuff. So go ahead, take a look, maybe buy some Yorkcast t-shirts while you're at it. Thanks for the support. Cheers, guys.